Hello. Hello. Ah, how are you all? Here we go. Just getting everything set up. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to our live today. Let me know if you're catching me live or if you're joining the replay, then I can give you a shout out and say hello to everyone, whether you are here live or when I circle back and uh, see see the replays. We are talking about energetic triggers for a business plateau and what to do about it. I'm so excited to be having this conversation with you today. I'd love to know if you caught my live that I did earlier this week um, around some energetic shift that you can take to increase your profitability. Let me know if you caught that one. It's in our Facebook group. Um, if you haven't caught that one yet, let's get everything set up. So I'd love to know, is this your first time catching me live or is this, are you one of our regulars? Let me know. I'd love to welcome you to our world if this is your first time. And of course, thank you so much if you've been in our world for a while. So I wanted to talk about energetic triggers um, today because we can unwittingly <laughs> create energetic triggers think of these as energy leaks in in your business and they can drain the business they can drain drain you and it can of course happen across all aspects of life relationships business our homes anywhere that there is something that's creating that that leap is a trigger in our business right down to stuff that we've got going on in our house because our home is our living vision board i talk about this a lot in the wealth portal and so if there's anything that we're tolerating within that our subconscious is just going to be picking up on that and we've lowered our standards because we're tolerating it does that make sense it's such a big topic and it's one that i talk about a lot with my colleagues in the masterminds that i'm in as well as with my clients as well and it's these pieces um there's so many pieces that go into building a business as everybody knows here and being able to create a business that takes care of you so that you can feel safe taken care of certain live the life of your dreams that you you know that you desire and to be able to contribute and make that impact with your clients and your customers that you desire as well and it's that thing of being able to have Solid foundation. So the growth of the business feels safe. You feel energetically safe. Your business feels safe. Your business can grow sustainably over time. Whilst people might be like, yes, I want the, the big windfalls. The big windfalls are great if your business can hold, hold the energy of that. So for me, being able to grow and develop our, our skills is just a key part of being a CEO, isn't it? And running a business and being able to evolve our leadership consciousness and our wealth consciousness so we can hold the growth of our, our business. And as part of that, being able to really step into that next level identity version of ourselves who has that strong relationship with responsibility is in alignment with the standards and expectations that they they set for themselves so that they can feel in alignment with that and so that doesn't become a, a leak an energetic trigger for a business plateau does that make sense so quick poll how are you feeling about running your business at the moment are you feeling oh it's just lighting me up is there anything that's feeling like heavy anywhere there's any sense of overwhelm or anything feeling sticky and you're like, you know, I can. What's happened? I can see sales plateauing. I can see something happening in business, and I'm wondering what on earth has triggered this one? Because you know the foundation's in place. Something was working before, and now suddenly it's it's not working. Are you are you feeling safe within your business? What what is bubbling up? Let let me know. And so often people will but only feel safe to talk about when things are going well rather than to say actually do you know what it's gone a bit wonky <laughs> I've got some things to figure out and sort out because there's so many components and we get so many beautiful opportunities along the way of course to learn 
fix problems, be solution finders, to be able to grow our skills across all the different aspects of growing a business, of course. You know, we're all fine tuning our, our, our skill set all the time. You know, whether it whichever component it's bubbling up into, whether it's systems, hiring team members, creating programs, creating products, service delivery side of things, the financial management aspect of things as well. All of these bits, you know, take um, contribute to the success of the business and how we respond to creating those in terms of our identity and how we perceive ourselves in relation to those aspects of the business. So the beliefs that we hold about those different components of the business, the emotions that we hold around those different components of the business, the actions that we take, everything that we do, all of that is contributing to the consciousness of our, our, our businesses. Does that make sense? And I think for me, you know, we can we can feel like a failure or make ourselves wrong if we haven't achieved a certain amount of growth by a certain period of time. You know, we set the intention to grow the business by a certain period of time at that point, not knowing the skill sets that we needed to grow along the way. And of course, being able to move through that plateau with that plateau or move through that growth period without making ourselves wrong. Does that make sense? One of the things I love doing within IPC is getting everyone to create business plans and then reviewing them along the way and saying, are these targets still right? Or do we need to tweak them so that because we've recognized that there's a skill set to be developed and or whatever it may be, or some life thing happened that meant there was a period that things weren't growing as as you had originally visited so that we can adapt and move and create the business plan so it's it's like a living document I actually always used to say this when I was leading your business planning for social services you know your business plan isn't meant to be just created once a year and then you put it on the shelf you never look at it again no it's a living document it's the living the plan of the consciousness of your business and its growth and you want to you know tweak it nurture it look after it make sure it's still in alignment with, alignment with it along the way and feel free to change it and adapt it along the way rather than going oh no I haven't done that that makes it all wrong <laughs> does that make sense does this resonate let me know if this is this is resonating so there are so many things that can drain our businesses and become energetic triggers for our, our business plateau so this is why I really wanted to talk about this because it is where we're plugging these these things that are triggering the plateaus, plugging the energy leaks, that so that the boundaries of the business can energetically hold what more is coming in. Your energy field can feel safer, less frantic, um, so that you can allow yourself to allow more in. Does that make sense? So there's so many leaks and triggers. So I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. What are you seeing as perhaps energetic triggers for yourself for your business plateaus when you have seen them whether it's now in the present moment or in the past what have you identified as energy leaks would love to know let's get the conversation going so that let's really normalize <laughs> that these things happen so that we can be supported and know what to do when they show up and so that you can plug the energy leak stop the energetic trigger so that you can continue the growth and making the impact that you desire in the in the world. Does that make sense? I think one of the things that can be a, a leak, a, a trigger, is seeing how the coaching industry is evolving and growing and what gets celebrated online. I'd love to know what you what triggers you in relation to when you're seeing people celebrating success in their business, whether they're celebrating their, their own success or their client success. Where is the focus? Is it on their own business growth? Or is it on the money that they've received? Or is it on their clients' results? I think there's a fine line where those types of celebration can start to feel a bit wonky. And then, of course, what that then perpetuates. Does, does that make sense? And, you know, we're, everyone here is leaders in their field. So, as leaders, what does this perpetuate for all the humans around us that may be aspiring to, to create what you've created? And then how do you handle that success in your business? What feels in alignment to you, how you celebrate that? Does that make sense? I'd love to know. And of course, you know, we, we celebrate <laughs> clients um, making more money because we help people make more money. So that is part of the celebration. And 
that and we'll do that in the wealth portal in you know helping clients to break through their money ceilings and of course in this in this group we talk about money all the time as well because it's one of the um success indicators for people in business but it's only one of the success indicators it's it's truly a reflection of the value that and the impact that's being made made in the business so you will hear me you know celebrate clients when they've had their first 100k months or when they've had their first 500 pounds in their business as well or their first 5k months whatever it may be because it's a reflection of their growth their evolution their expansion their service does that make sense and then their people <laughs> are getting value from their services I would love to know how you celebrate in alignment with the service that you offer. Does that make sense? I think that's the key thing for me is being in alignment with what the services that you're offering. And what is the purpose of that celebration? Is it to hook people or is it to genuinely celebrate? Because you can feel the energy behind the post. Does that make sense? So for me, I know that I want to grow a sustainable business. And I want to help my clients grow a sustainable business that enables them to have the work-life balance, to be able to be living in alignment with their values and to be able to know what to focus on to get the, the best results for their business and their energy. And one of the things that can bubble up that is a huge trigger for a plateau and is a leak is being distracted or spread too thin. Has anyone done that? I know I have. <laughs> And I think one of the things that is key when we spot these things is not to make ourselves wrong about, you know, when we when we spotted this, it's just like, oh, hang on a second. How have I done that? I've just completely spread myself to thing. I've become the, the bottleneck in the, in the business because I can see that that's where things are getting getting stuck with not being completed or whatever it may, how it may look like. So the my invitation here is to not make yourself wrong about how you run your business or how you're managing your money or leading your team or whether you're on this platform or that platform or however you're navigating the roller coasters is just to be in the energy of curiosity and and learning and growth and noticing where these leaks pop up or there's an energetic trigger for a business plateau and go ah oh, isn't that interesting let let's let's fix this and the, the the big one of course is energy leaks around managing our finances and this might show up in so many different ways, whether it's anticipating more sales coming in than they did, than they did. So making decisions off the back of that forecasting or not managing finances in alignment with values that can create an energy leak as well. Another energy leak that can um, is a trigger for a business plateau is not charging enough, which can create burnout. Has anyone had that? And you'll know if you're not charging enough where you're making sales and you're energetically starting to feel drained because the subconscious is starting to go, hang on, you're going to have to do all this work and the money that's coming in isn't going to be enough to support you financially so that you feel safe and secure and abundant and in flow so you can show up at your 110th percent best self. So what is the cost to you and your business? And to your clients if you're undercharging. And I, I believe that we have an evolution in terms of pricing. So what may have felt in alignment when you first set it as well could then turn into being an undercharging price. Doesn't does that make sense? It might might have been in alignment in the beginning and then it evolves and your business or your program or your product is actually asking to um you know have a greater energy exchange and to have a higher investment value on it. And then if you're out of alignment with that, you actually start then stealing from yourself and then start feeling drained when you're showing up for those services you're delivering that you haven't charged enough for. If that makes sense. There's a there's a big sweet spot with pricing. It needs to be aligned. So you can have an energetic trigger for a business plateau and an, an energy leak with, with your undercharging and overcharging in the sense of if you're charging, your price is the investment you're asking for you haven't calibrated to or it's higher than what your audience could go for and you can start to see what happens when um, energetically with your pricing is if you have everybody paying you in full you probably need to raise the price you want to have a nice mixture of people you know that that's one of the indicators of a nice sweet spot where 
with pricing is if you've got some people paying in full and some people um, doing a payment plan. And of course, you know, there's times in your business where you want everyone to be paying in full or you want more people to be in a, in a payment plan and you can set your pricing in, in alignment with that as well. And so when you're thinking about, you know, your one-to-one services as well is particularly with your audience type, what's the pricing for, for that? So I know, you know, my one-to-one pricing attracts the six-figure and seven-figure earners because they're calibrated to it. They've got the business growth for that. And so that's in alignment. I'm calibrated to that pricing. They're calibrated to that pricing. So there's a there's a sweet spot. But if it's out of alignment, overcharging or undercharging, it could slow down sales and, of course, creates an energy drain and then creates that stress in your body. And, you know, you have that knock-on impact across the across the piece. Yeah, so has pricing ever been a energetic trigger for a business plateau for you? I would love to know that. The other trigger is tolerating. Tolerating something that is below a standard or an expectation that we've set for the team. Or as a business owner, you might not have a team mem- team members yet. But if you have got team members, you know, where, where there is a team member that is perhaps not contributing to the business as in alignment with the standards that you've set. But you want all the team members, of course, supporting you in improving, you know, service delivery, clients, client results. We want clients to be able to feel empowered so that they can claim the results that they desire if they choose as they're going on their growth journey. So what are you tolerating (laughs) is a great way to just do that, that bit of an order. Okay, so what am I tolerating and where else am I tolerating this? Because it is that aspect of how we do one thing. It's being mirrored to us elsewhere (laughs) in, in our lives. And one of the things that I have learned over the years is that our Clients calibrate to our frequency and vibration when we're in alignment with our standards and the values and the expectations that we hold. And if we lower our standards, we we're contracting down to meet them. We're not doing anyone any favors. And I talked about the three energetic shifts that you can make to increase your profitability in the last transmission where we're talking about standards, expectations that you hold, boundaries, your responsibility with Um, your relationship with responsibility so that you can grow your profitability and within this theme I was thinking about you know energetic triggers and energy leaks and I was thinking about what values you might hold in your business and what standards may need to be set so that the frequency that you're sending out to the universe is in alignment with your highest level version of yourself and then that version of you is where your clients can calibrate up to does that make sense no, we're all leaders here. We get to model how we want things to be in our industry so that we can we can set we set the bar. So how how are you leading? How how do you want things to be in your business? And what standards are you modeling, your company modeling for your profession and your industry? I would love to love to know this, how you're leading leading your community and your role as a leader in your profession and what is frustrating for you in your industry in your profession that you've recognized is creating a leak for you and what you're going to do about it so that you can plug up that leak and allow yourself to feel safe as you're growing your business and for that next expansion I think for me, the biggest energetic trigger for a business plateau is where energy is leaking out of the business because as a CEO, feeling out of alignment with it in some way. And the easiest energetic trigger for for business growth, so the other side of things, so not the business plateau, but for business growth, is to focus on the customer results, the client's results, the quality of the service that you're delivering that's the magnetism of a business because of course people are then recommending you to others does that resonate so if you're i know we have a lot of coaches here knowing that your magnetism comes from focusing on your client results celebrating your clients the impact that you're making that's what we're here for impact making making an impact helping people to live their best lives and to have the results that they desire helping your clients to complete the programs that they've come in to complete. 
helping them to have all their questions answered so that they know their next best step so that they can get the desired result that they've stepped into the container with you to, to, to claim. And having that complete alignment with what you're offering and how you're working with your clients is, is magnetic as well. So for me, we lead, we lead the way by, by modeling aligned success in our own lives and how we deal with energetic triggers and uh, energy leaks and by being authentic and showing people along the way what it takes to grow a business and all the evolution that we each go under as we're growing every step of the way. Can't wait to hear what everybody's reflections are in relation to this and uh, all your, your thoughts and contributions. So I'm really looking forward to continuing this conversation. What I, what I wanted to, to share with you as well, for those of you that would like to go deeper, I do have an invitation for you. So this is what we're up to. We are enrolling into our uh, coaching and mentoring programs at the moment. So we've got the Wealth Portal and the Infinite Prosperity Collective. So the Wealth Portal is for all entrepreneurs and CEOs where you'll break through your money ceiling in the next 60 days or less. Imagine where you'll be in the next 60 days, what your life is going to look like on the other side of the breakthrough. So uh, at the time of this is uh, early December. So 2023. <laughs> late January what could that look like 2023 late January when you've broken through your money ceiling what we're up to in the wealth portal you'll get nine modules of training calls with showing exact steps what to do how to release all the hidden blocks and the resistances um, whatever it is that's being held in your subconscious that's creating that energetic stickiness um, we gather together three times a month for live calls so that you're fully supported with time to have your questions answered and receive laser coaching and all the niggly bits that are coming up and uh, healing on any trauma that has been revealed and asked for healing. And we do, you know, we do manifesting together. We do Akashic Record activations together. They're so powerful. I absolutely love facilitating those. And last month, we uh, guided clients through a powerful way to uncover what was locking in the money default set point um, in alignment with their energetic blueprint. And we also transmuted the energetics around your most valuable asset in your business as well. So really powerful stuff we dive into things you didn't know you needed to sort out energetically just so that you can have that etheric pathway clear so that, that your magnetism can powerfully draw what you desire to you and right now i have a special invitation for you so you can benefit from our 2022 savings and bonuses so just reach out to me send me a dm let me know that you'd like the details and we'll pop over the invitation to you i've got all the info in a in a google doc so you can read through the details we can explore together if it's a, a fit for you once you've had a read through the details you just let me know that you're in and we'll get you set up so it's nice and simple and if you are a coach and you are ready to create six figures in your business and grow to multi six figures and you want my guidance and support to show you how to do it in alignment with your energetic blueprint then ipc is for you this is our eighth eight month spiritual business mastermind this includes leadership and energetic coaching copy support and business strategy. So this is the trifecta for accelerated growth. You need all of this. So if you've been in business for a while and you are making sales and you've got your programs in place and you haven't yet hit six figures or multi six figures yet, then come and join us in IPC. This is your fastest path for growth. And I do have a couple of private one-to-one -one coaching containers available for, for those of you who are desiring more one-to-one -one as well. So just, just reach out to me via Messenger. We can explore what's a fit for you and I'll let you know if I can help you and then I'll pop over all the details for you so you can have a read through and then just let me know that you're in and we'll take it from there. Alrighty, sending you all so much love. Thank you so much for joining me live or on the replay. I'll pop back and pick up your comments and carry on the conversation with you all. Sending you loads of love. Take care. Bye bye.